from my heart and from my hand why don't people understand my intention so good morning guys welcome back to the channel so the last and final consideration of the electric mini conversion is actually related to the suspension setup and in particular the rebound and the preload of suspension and how that's changed as a direct result of the batteries and the electric motor. Now I thought of a couple of ways to try and demonstrate this to you and it's not particularly easy on a car so I've decided that the best way to do this is to use my mountain bike to illustrate uh, these important points. Now, um, if you don't get this balance correct, you're gonna end up with a car that doesn't drive very well and potentially is dangerous. And in particular, because of this weight balance change, you could end up with a car that just constantly is bunny hopping around uh, like a buckaroo. So uh, yeah, let's start with the mountain bike and I'll try and explain uh, using the suspension forks on the bike. Okay guys, let me use the bike to try and illustrate this. So preload is simply the starting point at which your suspension is going to start working or activating based on the weight that's applied. So in this particular case, this particular fork has been set up with the weight of the bike in mind. So this is its zero point for preload. If I compress this, because I'm changing the weight applied that's your preload point. Now in most cases, this actually reduces your amount of suspension travel, but it doesn't necessarily change the spring rate. Now the rebound is simply the speed at which this returns back to its zero point for preload. And obviously with the mini, it's been calculated from the OEM point, the total weight of the car, and that's its starting point. For its preload by adding more weight to it i'll be changing that point effectively reducing the travel okay guys so what i'm going to do is try and illustrate the weight distribution uh, using the ipad here and again i just want to re-emphasize i'm talking about weight distribution preload and rebound i am not going to get into wheel geometry in this particular session because that's a whole other topic so first of all let's take a look at the weight distribution so the middle of the car is roughly at the driver's shoulder. That gives you a nice split right down the middle. Now Mini Clubman Estate has a bias of 65% of the weight on the front and 35% on the rear. Actually most Minis are very close to this, give or take a couple of percentages anyway. Now the total weight of the car is 686 kilo which means that we have a bias of 445 kilo on the front and we have roughly 241 kilo on the rear now that's before that we apply the additional weight of a battery now at the moment the estimations are that we're going to add around about 30 kilo because of the battery right now if you look at the battery placement you'll see here that we're putting a range extender battery behind the rear seat or underneath the rear seat and we're doing one in the base of the cargo area right here now because the electric motor on the front is lighter than the combustion engine but we're shifting weight to the rear of the car now we're probably going to end up with something more in the range of 50 percent front and 50 percent rear now that actually makes a difference to the dampers because effectively what we're doing by changing the dynamics is we're changing the load on the front we're lightening it but we're increasing the load on the rear so it's important to get the balance correct otherwise you're going to end up either with a saggy back end and the steering too light on the front making it vague and a little tail happy so looking at all the considerations you've got high low risers you've got adjustable dampers you've got coils versus elastomers uh, but i think actually there's another solution that will allow us to balance these things out without changing the suspension travel 
or the handling of the car. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. So I consider myself extremely fortunate that uh, these two minis have actually been set up completely differently. This still has the original cup and rubber cone design from the uh, factory. And this one has actually been set up with uh, coil springs and high-low risers. And honestly, I mean, suspension is a personal thing. A lot of people want their car to drive in different ways and they want different levels of comfort or sportiness. But I can say from my standpoint, um, these two have both advantages and disadvantages. You tend to find with the spring one that it's very good and plush at low frequency uh, bumps in the road, but it tends to crash and bottom out a lot when that spring runs out of its travel. Whereas the cup and comb one is completely the reverse of that. You get less banging, clashing of the suspension, but it tends to be a constantly harsh ride. Yeah, so the final decision on the suspension setup is actually to go for a coilover damper system. Um, this will actually give us a much greater range of adjustment in terms of the ride height than if you use the high-low system. It'll also keep the relationship between the spring and the damper speed at the right balance, as well as hopefully allow us to get the correct trim that we need uh, in terms of balancing the car itself. So the parts are on order from the UK. These days things take a little bit more time to get products from the UK after Brexit, but hopefully they'll be here in the next few weeks. Uh, in the meantime, we've had no real update from the body shop yet on whether they've even started the shell work. Uh, we'll probably take a ride up there in the coming days. So yeah, that's it. That's the last question in the series of questions that relates to how to develop a car based around changing from combustion to an electric drivetrain. Uh, I wanted to be very careful about each of these considerations. As you can imagine, this is an expensive and timely project, and I want to make sure that we get a nice product at the end uh, of the entire process. So yeah, uh, I'll keep you informed over the coming weeks on the progress with the shell, but uh, I'm getting keen and wanting to start rebuilding, so uh, let's see. Anyway, in the meantime, guys, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and uh, stay tuned and look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.